The first thing is to decide what pattern you want to use. Here are some popular examples. If you don't find what you're looking for, be creative. Go ahead and design your own pattern. We're going to install a vertical random pattern today. We will use brushed champagne tiles with a mix of both short grain and long grain tiles. The first thing we need to do is to lay out the design. One method is to begin from the center of the area to be covered. This method allows balance around the perimeter of the work area. To get started with the installation, find the center point between the horizontal and vertical measurements and mark on the wall or work area with a pencil. Be sure the horizontal reference line is level and the vertical reference line is plumb. If your countertop is perfectly flat, you can start right off the top of the counter. If it has some bumps or is uneven, you should snap a line so your first row is straight. To do this, identify the high points of your countertop by measuring from the horizontal reference line or by using a level. Snap a reference line to the top of the first row of tiles after marking 1 8 inch above the highest point at 3 and 1 8 inch. The top edge of the first row will be installed along this line. If your design is complicated, like herringbone for example, or if you're using multiple colors or grain directions, we recommend you lay out the entire project on a flat surface, like a table or the floor, before installing tiles to the wall. Just to be sure your tiles and design is correct. As each project is different, be sure to plan for cutouts, corners, or edge treatments before applying tiles. Now that we've got our design and layout done, we can begin installing the tiles. Here's where the fun begins. Aspect allows for two easy installation methods, using the peel and stick adhesive, which may require some wall preparation, or method two, where an additional adhesive is used with uneven or unprepared walls. If you're using installation method one, proper wall preparation is required. The wall to which you are applying aspect tiles to must be smooth and primed with a fresh coat of oil-based primer. If you do not intend to sand and prime the surface, method two using an additional adhesive should be used. We recommend a high-quality construction adhesive like Loctite PL Premium be applied to the back of each tile. Lightly place the tile against the wall. The tiles may be removed within a minute or two and reset if they are only lightly placed on the surface. If it's in the right position, firmly press the tile over its entire surface area to be sure it adheres properly. If using method two, remove the release film on the back of each tile before applying additional adhesive. Apply about five pea-sized dots of adhesive to the back of a full tile. Keep the adhesive about a half inch from the tile edges to prevent leakage. Press the tiles into place. If adhesive squeezes out around the tiles, be sure to wipe it off before it dries. If cutting tiles is necessary, you can use a chop saw, miter box, or hacksaw for any necessary straight cuts. When cutting the tiles, the most important thing to remember here is to cut only the tiles, not yourself. Be careful. An alternative trimming method you can use is a utility knife. Using a straight edge, score along the entire tile using a utility knife. Bend back and forth until tile separates. When cutting is complete, use a fine grit sandpaper or a small metal file to deburr the cut edges. Take the cut tile to the workspace and place it in its intended location, ensuring it fits properly. Install the remaining tiles in the same fashion. When all of the tiles are installed to your satisfaction, press each again firmly with your hand. This will ensure that the adhesive bonds to the wall. Use construction adhesive for cut pieces of aspect that are less than a third of a full tile. If desired, apply a 1 8 inch bead of cloth or silicone sealant in the gap under the bottom row. Wipe off excess sealant. Choose clear or colored caulk according to your preference. Matching outlet covers are available at wallplatewarehouse.com.